Stan wanted to take me out in the open water. <laughs> in an inflatable kayak. <laughs> you want adventure. When whales attack. Bump, 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 bump. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Good your exercise, Arnold. Well, we're about 15 minutes in to our ride and <laughs> I think we've bottomed out. We're not going anywhere. Holy smacks, don't hit me in the head again. I don't know. I think so. It's kind of mucky looking. We're gonna take our kayak out um, in Morro Bay. And we checked it out last night and the water, oh, it feels so yucky. I got my water shoes on. It's a little mucky. Not too bad, it's cold, the water's freezing. But the water was actually about where Stan's standing last night, if not a little bit higher up. And it's, of course, you know, tide is low right now. But we're gonna go out there and see if we can't find some otters, some sea lions. We weren't sure if we were gonna do Avila Bay or Morro Bay, but I feel a little more protected here in Morro Bay. Sam wanted to take me out in the open water in an inflatable kayak. <laughs> You want adventure. When whales attack. <laughs> yeah, not that kind of adventure. <laughs> I want to live to see, yeah. you know, the next day. <laughs> well, All right. You can see that the tide is already coming in, so. All right, well, let's, let's blow this thing up. I don't think we've ever showed you guys uh, the full process. Let's walk them through. I think we have. Didn't we? I yeah. think a little well, bit. We were up in, uh, in Oregon. Oregon. Yeah. Yeah. But it was Yeah, I'll walk them through while you set it up. Mm. So this is our Intex 2 Explorer. Here, let me help you. <laughs> Ooh. Haven't seen it for a while. And we actually store it under the bed of the trailer. Just take it, bring it along. We actually didn't forget our life vest this time either. It comes with the pump. These are, it breaks down all the paddles. It comes with little inflatable seats and rolls up real nice. Show how they're numbered. Yeah. Number one. How easy. So you see, you see the numbers, it tells you exactly what to pump up first. Number one, and then next we'll do two. Pretty easy, I think there's like five different things. Five down here. Okay, so that number one just blows up the base. Started to inflate and kind of stretch out a little bit. We didn't normally do this in the back of the truck, but with the way that looks out there, it probably is a little bit uh, cleaner process. So that took you what, like, Two minutes, three minutes at the most. Yeah, on the base. So I'm gonna work on the paddles. That comes with, you know, everything breaks down. I think one paddle breaks down into like four different parts, five different parts actually. <coughs> okay, now I gotta figure, <laughs> it's like a puzzle. You gotta figure it all out. So once you figure out which way, you know, these things kind of just, um, I don't know, have to be there for your hand to help grip and not slide into the center and then it just pops in like that. So this is your center. You got two pieces, now I'm ready for my paddles. One paddle. Easy as that. One paddle ready. Check in with Stan, how is it going? Coming along. Already see an otter close up. Really? Where'd he go? Uh, he's under the water, eating. 
I don't know, let us know in the comments if you guys would go out there and launch your boat. Now, I don't know if we would have, actually the waitress where we ate dinner last night at Dutchman's in Morro Bay, she said this is where she launches. launches. We're actually in Morro Bay State Park and we watched a young couple, I think they live here, they launched last night, so it gave us the confidence to do it. Okay, you can't forget, there's a plug back here. You can't forget to put the plug in. Yeah. Very important if you want to stay afloat. That's a lot of responsibility right there. Want me to hold it? Those are the little seats. And then they Velcro in to the spots here. So you can put the back one has a certain spot, but here you can move, you know, a little closer, which we do. So Stan has more leg room. Well, and that also, so we don't bang paddles. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to put you up as much forward as I possibly can. We're, we're still working on our coordination. Actually, probably more me. These guys, oh yeah, they just pop in right there. That took us, how, took you, how long? Ten minutes? Okay, and then we have our vests. Do you want to put them in the back? How do you, where would you like to put them? There you go. Safety first. Safety first. And let me get in here. Okay. Runs off the feet. Wash that feet off. Good girl. Get most of the sand off. The boat's gonna sink before. Coming in. Okay, perfect. All right. All right. I didn't even get that on film. I was that way. And that's that not the funniest thing. How you feeling? Fired. I told you I'm not very good at this camera stuff. <laughs> All right, you want me to click it off? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. I have a banana in my ear. I got to take you out because you know, once once I get uh, the largeness of me in this thing, <laughs> that uh, why are you laughing? What's going to happen? Are we going to bottom out? Uh, the fin is going to get stuck. All right, very gracious. Graceful. All right. We're in and ready to roll. Well, we're about 15 minutes in to our ride and I think we've bottomed out. We're not going anywhere. Holy smacks, don't hit me in the head again. <laughs> oh, ugh, ugh. You don't gotta tell everybody. Dan rung my bell with it, but that's okay. You don't gotta tell everybody about He has not asked me to paddle, so I can't complain. We have seen a couple otters and lots of pelicans. Um, I saw a seal, but we're hoping to get more in the action. I think we're, being a little shallow, we're not gonna see much right here. So we're trying to find our way back to deeper water.
about, I don't know, it's an hour and a half into our excursion and... We're going in circles. Because <laughs> we're in a little eddy right now, so you don't move in anywhere in the current. You're just going around in circles. <laughs> it's kind of cool. <laughs> And we, we kind of came back because we saw little eyes looking at us in... The little baby seal. So cute, but we don't know where he went. We've seen otters. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, baby. Look at that. That's the old man otter. He just popped right up there. Hi, sweetheart. There's a lot of fish right in here, that's why. Actually, we, we are moving now. Mm -hmm. We came out of the air. Oh my gosh. This is the neatest thing, you guys. Oh. You see all these otters, birds in the wild. Wow. It's just incredible. You gotta be aware of the tide. And so, uh, high tide is at 11.30 and it's um, oh. 9.36 now. So the tide is coming in hard. And so, you wanna make sure you're on this side of the rock because that's where the tide comes in and you don't want to be by the rock when the tide goes out because you'll get sucked out in the ocean. Mm, that's frightening. We're going to call it and this is successful. I think Rhonda wants to maybe launch over by this big seals. There is a big margarita and avocado festival. How does margarita and avocado go together? Uh, I'm probably going to get some comments on in this but I have no clue but I guess it's been very popular for many many years yeah so. I think it's about this is there's a lot of avocados in this area that are but is harvested. the avocado in the margarita no it's not in the margarita <laughs> maybe it is I don't know maybe well, we should go check it out there's one part that's healthy and one part maybe not so much <laughs> I don't know along the marina here. Look at these guys. Yeah, probably not a good idea to go kayaking right in there. Not with Coast Guard ships going out. Stan has the last word. Are we going in? We do have the last word. The inlet? I'll say let's go. Oh. <laughs> oh. I say no. <laughs> I guess maybe I'm having the last word. That looks scary. I don't want to be out there with Coast Guard ships and sea lions that are the size of like cars. Oh, scary. Can you imagine if you decide he wants to join you and jumps in your inflatable kayak? Yeah, you guys would like that. I know. <laughs> That'd be good content, but no, nah, we'll save that for someone else. So we're just going to deflate it and probably clean it up, clean the salt water off of it when we get back to the trailer and call it a day. Yes, this is deja vu, but it is the same day and uh, you can hear where we're headed, what we're headed to go see. So we actually deflated the kayak. That then got courage because we saw other kayakers out here and paddle boarders and we're like, this is too good of an opportunity to see these animals. And here we are, Stan bless his heart. <laughs> he blew it back up and we got it all set up again and off we go. So I should just learn to listen to you. You wanted to go. Oh, we're getting really close to the dot. I don't want to get too close. Oh crap, he's coming to see us. Uh, 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 uh.
Coleman Park in Morro Bay, where we saw the, um, I don't know if they're called elephant seals or what, but just a great little place. This is where you can launch a kayak, look at Morro Rock, and dining and restaurants and shops down, down there. This is becoming one of our favorite places. 